In the basic course on respiratory disease, I will discuss first the anatomy of the lung, hoping to show you that the anatomy of the lung is dictated by its function. Then I'll describe the physiology of, res of respiratory function. And then in, in the subsequent lectures, I'll discuss how the doctor approaches the patient to take a history, examine the patient, and then thinks about and uses diagnostic tests to fully evaluate what the respiratory problem may be that the patient is presenting with. And the anatomy of the lung includes the bones, the vertebra, the ribs, the sternum, the lower airways, the trachea, bronchial tree, bronchioles, and alveoli, the blood supply to the lungs, the pulmonary arteries, veins, and the bronchial circulation, as well as lymphatic drainage, the muscles that move the lung, the thoracic cage muscles, the intercostals, the diaphragm, the lining of the lung and the internal aspect of the thoracic cage, the visceral and parietal pleura, and we'll also touch on some of the nerves involved, the phrenic and the vagus nerve. One aspect I won't discuss, but is very important, is that the respiratory tract actually starts at the nose. So the upper airways are part of the respiratory tract as well, and that includes the nose, the mouth, the sinuses, the pharynx, the larynx, and the vocal cords. Right, so this diagram gives a, a general overview of the respiratory tract. And you can see in the middle the gray objects of the lungs, the right lung on the right-hand side, the left lung on the left-hand side, and then nestling either side of the heart and the pericardium. And on, our, on the outside, we have a layer of skin, muscle, and then we have bones. And you can see the pleura, which actually hangs down below both lungs on both sides. And underneath the thoracic cavity, we have the right and the left hemidiaphragms, which separate the thoracic cavity from the, from the abdomen and are vital for respiration. Above the thoracic cavity, we have the trachea, which takes air in and out of the lungs and up into the upper airways in the neck. This is a more schematic diagram showing the airways in, their, in the entirety, starting at the nose, moving on to the pharynx, which is at the back of the nose, and then the larynx, the trachea, the bronchi, and then the lungs at the end of the respiratory tract. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.